so here we are in the 2016 Toyota Camry. A um, couple first things real quick. This is a basic Camry. Um, not a lot of options. It does have a backup camera. I think, you know, going forward now, that, that's supposed to be standard on cars. And this has a backup camera. It's got the four-cylinder engine in it, making a little over 170 horsepower. And, and that power is... It does pretty good, and one thing that I really appreciate about this four-cylinder is it actually sounds decent. It doesn't sound uh, like a typical four-cylinder. You know, I think of like the Nissan Altima when I when I used to sell those. The four-cylinder uh, with that CVT engine just sounded horrible. It just had that to it. This really doesn't have that sound to it. It's, it's very quiet, and which is good because people usually would buy a V6 just because of the sound of a four-cylinder. And this four-cylinder sounds fine. It's it's doesn't sound good, but it's fine. A couple other things that um, I actually do really like about this car, I was able to take it on a trip um, down to Indianapolis from, from Fort Wayne, and this thing actually travels on the highway very comfortably. Uh, that's one thing that this, this Camry does really well. The seats are comfortable. Um, the ride quality is very comfortable. This thing's rated to get up to 25 miles to the gallon in the city and up to 35 miles to the gallon on the highway. Now, with me being able to test this thing out for a long period of time, on the highway, I averaged about 31, 32 miles to the gallon, and that was going 75 miles an hour. So to get that 35 miles to the gallon, you're gonna probably have to be doing around 70 or a little bit below, which is fine, because mostly, you know, if you're not on big highways, you know, it's usually 55, 60, or 60 is the speed limit. So it, I really actually was kind of just a little bit surprised. I thought the fuel mileage would be just a little bit better, but it's still good, it's not bad. It's just not as good as what I had thought going into it. I, you know, thinking, oh, this is a Camry. It's gonna get excellent fuel mileage. I bet you this thing is gonna push 38, but no, it did. It does fine, but not excellent. A couple things that it does do actually excellently is the back seat has tons of space. The trunk room, it's got tons of room in the trunk. The dash doesn't look bad. I mean, it's not amazing, but it doesn't look bad. It doesn't, it's not ugly. It, I like the stitching in it. It looks fairly decent. Um, a couple of weird little things, I know it's kind of going to sound cliche-ish, is the shifter. It, it, the way it's sat when you're in drive, it's like perfect to rest your hand on and hold the steering wheel like this. Now when you're driving uh, spiritedly, you're going to be doing this, which you're not going to be doing much spirited driving in this car anyways. But just regular driving, it, it it's like a perfect hand rest, to be honest. <laughs> kind of on a funny note, the smack of the steering wheel, when you're really into your music, it really feels like it sounds like a snare. It's great. So if you're drumming along to your favorite song and hitting that snare, it feels pretty good. This makes a good drum, too. <laughs> so it's a good... It does good at just being a commuter car. It's, it's not, like I said, it's not an inspiring car to drive, but it's not so dull and boring that I roll my eyes at it when I see it. One thing that did kind of surprise me about this Camry when I first got in it, I, I think it, you would call it the ergonomics of the car, maybe, correct me if I'm wrong, but very quickly I was comfortable driving this car. And I think that's done on purpose. It's, you get in, nothing's confusing, it's, you put it in drive, you go, it's the throttle's not touchy, the brakes aren't too touchy, but everything works well. It, it's it's an easy car to learn to drive. Um, I know that might sound silly. I mean, sometimes you get in cars and you, you're things are a little bit different and and you have to get used to them a little bit. But this, I felt like I did. It, you didn't need to get used to it. This is just your basic car, and it, and it does it really well at being just. A simple car. It's not complicated. It just does what it does well. And that's 
kind of be a boring sedan, <laughs> if I'm honest. I'm going to, you're going to be with me here. I'm, I'm taking it down a curvy uh, back road here in Fort Wayne. And this will be the first time I've actually taken it down a curvy road. So you're going to be with me at first curve. Decent amount of body roll. It just, yeah, it's... Not horrible, but not inspiring. The steering's a little too light. The, you know, it's just, but it's a Camry. It's not, it's not going to be a blast in the curves. That's just not what it's built to do. And I shouldn't expect it to be fun. And if you're looking for it to be fun, you're going to be disappointed. So I'm in the parking lot. I'm going to do kind of like a turning radius test. Um, I'm going to pull into a spot and I'm going to, basically just cut it hard left and see how many spaces it, it basically jumps over. Um, the steering's really light at a standstill. Hold on. How many did that do? Okay, so there's one. There's two. So you jump over about two spaces when you do it, which is not bad. It's a fairly good turning radius. And when you have a backup camera, you know, backing in and out is super simple. You see things and, and the visibility on this car actually is quite good. You know, I've, I've been in other vehicles where this line was so high, you felt like you, you couldn't see and this, you can see fine. So when I review cars, I try to be as unbiased as possible. I try to look at these cars as what they're built to do you know this car isn't built to handle well it's not built to be inspiring it's not built uh, for a guy like me that that loves Ferraris that loves Porsches to buy this and make me want to go drive it you know the the Alpha that I just did a review on not too long ago that's built to inspire you you really feel something special about that car so I look at that car a little bit differently and when I get in a Camry I look at it as, okay, what is this car supposed to do? What is this car supposed to be good at? Um, the transmission's a little clunky for me. The steering um, is kind of weird. I'm going to be honest. When you're at a stop, it lightens up, and then it just doesn't, it's not a seamless like lightening up and tightening up, really. And I don't expect it to be giving me a ton of feedback and a great handling car, but. I just wish it was a little bit smoother at transitioning between tightening up and loosening up. And I don't, I don't know the mechanics behind it because this is a rental car. Um, so I don't have the breakdown of the car in front of me, but that being said, the things that it does well, the engine is good and quiet for a four cylinder. This car, it's a Camry. It's good at, it's good at being a Camry. It's good at this segment. It's not wowing me, but I'm not disappointed in it at all either. Um, I don't know if I want to be wowed by a Camry. Um, so like I said at the, at the beginning of this, this little clip, this cut is I try to look at these cars as what they're built to do, not what I want them to do. I don't like every car can't be a fun hair raising car to drive it can't be a fun chuckable throw it into corners and have a blast with so this that being said this overall is good at being a regular mundane daily driver so overall for what it's built to do it's good um if you're looking for something fun don't get a base camry it's not that fun to drive, but it is good at the daily use. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you see my Cargument shirt and you want one, if you want to support me, uh, there's going to be a link below in the description to uh, buy a t-shirt if you would like, sweaters, uh, cups, mugs, anything that's on there. Um, any support is awesome. Um, please don't forget, forget to subscribe. I do have a podcast. Um, we're running through some things right now. One of the guys that is on it, they just had a baby, so we're we're a little bit 
um, behind schedule on it, but we'll be back at it soon. So, yes, thanks again for watching. Check out that Alfa Romeo video right here, and you guys have a great day.